Hi, this is Sarah Arrow from SarkyMedia.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about a wonderful little tool called Canva.com. That's C-A-N-V-A.com. And what it is, is a little tool to enable you to create graphics, to give your blog a more uniform design, and also to create some really nice graphics to share on social media and raise your profile. So, I'm a beta tester for Canva, so there may be hitches in this video, and you'll be able to jump on in and get an early invitation too. I've unfortunately run out, I've given my additional invitations here for my friends, I've gave them to some clients of mine, so you will see some of the designs that I've done over here on the left. You'll notice that some of them are on the blog, some are on Pinterest, and as you can see, I've got quite a few of them because I've been looking at this for the last three, three months, I think, since September. So, let's go up and take a look at the designs. There's documents, presentations, so you can export these images and put them into slide decks to make some really cool slide share video style. Um, presentations. There's a blog graphic. Now personally I find that a fraction too big at 800 by 1200 pixels. Uh, there's also Facebook covers that fit absolutely perfectly. Social media and as photo collages, business cards, invitations. They've got quite a range of designs. The one that I use in my blog post is actually the social media one here which comes in at 800 pixels by 800 pixels and I, when I upload it I do it as a medium sized image so it actually shows as 300 by 300. So over here on the left we have all of the designs in this section and if we scroll down you'll see there's a lot of designs and the majority of the designs are free but if there's a special image in the background oh let me just scroll back up to show you that one here with these people you will pay a dollar for using that specific image so not only can you create your own images you will also be able to use some of the images I think there's about a million in the database and if you do that will cost you just one dollar so it's very very economical and all of these images here that you can see the cloud the sky and the meadow path there you can add your own photograph in that section and again there's a huge huge amount of templates so let's just go back up and I'll use one that I use quite often and I change the colours to it and as you can see when you click on it it replaces the previous image that was there so if I change my mind and decide to go on this one instead all I have to do is click it to change it now this one is quite simple it's asking people to make a choice so if over on the left hand sidebar menu I go to uploads. I can upload my images or I can search them. Now I've got a stash of images here already and as I drag them and drop them, oh, dropped it too soon. Where it gets to the right place, oh no, I've still dropped it too soon it will slot into place. No, I can't do it. Oh, how silly is that? No, I've managed it. So I've got my rose there. I've got my bud here. There we have it. And have I got another flower image already uploaded? Um, let me just see. I've actually got a lemon. So let's see if I can fit that in. And as you can see, now my photos are in the slots one, two, and three instead of the meadow image in the background. 
I can change the colours very simply. If I want to change the text, I just click on that and can change it to black. Remember, if I change it to black, I need to change the text down here as well so that it's all coordinated and looking how it should. And as you can see, it's very simple and very fast. So it doesn't take very long. We've been recording this video for five minutes now and aside from my mishaps with the actual photos and I wasn't very steady in dropping those in place, then um, you can see it only takes a few minutes to change everything that you need to change. And once you've got them in place, you can choose it or you can click on the plus button and you'll see the colour dropper there and you can choose another colour. So for the sake of this, I'm going to go for a much darker red. And as you can see, it appears in my colour palette there. And if I click over here, I can click on that and it will still be in my colour palette. So I don't have to remember any hex colour codes or anything like that. I can just click and it's done. So now I've got my image. If I wish to do a duplicate, I can do one below it by just clicking that little copy page and it should appear underneath. And then I can drag and drop different images, but still keep the same design. And this is really good if you're doing things for Facebook pages and you wish to update things and have consistent branding. So I'm just randomly putting these in. And as you can see, I've got two very nice images that if they actually meant something that I could share as a blog image and over here I'm just now going to show you the images that you can search you can type in whatever you're looking for so if I was looking for a flower it would give me all of the options coming up for a flower and as you can see there's a selection of free images and if you go down there's a selection of paid images and the images that you buy are able to be used for web use or for print so you're getting a really good bargain I think at just a dollar for some of the images that are available and there's also other sections so you might want to look in shapes or frames or icons there's a huge huge range and if we go over to text, if we don't like these little images here, we can actually delete them. And if we scroll up to this part with the delete button, we can just delete that. And I guess I can take one of these and put it over there. The question is which one actually suits the image. Well, I'm, instead of faffing around and then spending hours on this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you by just adding one in place. Come on. And I'm eventually going to resize it. So I've got it the image resized. I can now click the text and change that to A if I wanted. I could also change the colour of it and the red that I used in the previous ones will also be there. So that's consistent. Oh that's my cat knocking over my pens. Yes my kitten is very restless today and is coming over to see what's going on. If I wasn't recording my screen you'd actually see her in camera shot. So we've got this lovely image and um, well, it's not too lovely in all honesty, I've made a right pig's ear of it, but the next step is to get a link or publish it and download. Now I can take the link here and I can then insert it into WordPress or I can send the link to somebody else by ticking that box and they will be able to also edit this design. 
So when I've created images and working with people on a specific blog post, I can send them over an image that I've designed and say, here you are, go and add your own photos. And they can just upload them in a matter of seconds and add them to the original design that we've worked on. The next step is to click image and Canva is now preparing my image ready for download. And it shouldn't take more than about 30 seconds. And because it is in beta testing, sometimes the image doesn't download, but the majority of the time it is really good. So I can now download this to my desktop and I'll call it Pig's Ear because it is a bit of a mess and I know what that is. I'll save it in my downloads file and that's it. It's all downloaded to my computer and we're done. The next step is to go over to our blog and insert it as a graphic or share it on our social media channels and as you can see it's simple, it's effective, it's very low cost and I think you should get in fast because I think it's going to be a really popular tool. I hope you enjoy it.